uh, those who hunger and fast for righteousness, for they will be done what? The Bible says they will be, somebody say, they will be done what? They will be filled. So blessed are those who hunger and fast for righteousness, for they will be filled. So Yesu anapokea habari ya baraka na wale ambao kubarikiwa ni wale ambao wanajaa na kiu kwa sababu ya utakatifu. Anasema kwamba baada ya kuwa na jaa na kuwa na kiu watu hao wataweza kutoshereshwa. Na mimi nasema leo tukiwa na jaa na kiu kwa sababu ya roho mtakatifu atakuja kwa ajili ya maisha yetu. So John chapter 7 verse number 37. Yesu anaongea. Anasema nini John chapter 7 verse number 37. On the last day and the greatest day of the festival Jesus stood and said in a loud voice, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me and drink. The Bible says verse number 38, verse number 38, whoever believes in me, as scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within them. By this verse number 39, by this he meant the spirit, he meant the spirit, whom those who believed in him wa later to receive kwa hivyo hawakuwa wamejazwa kwa sababu gani kwa sababu Kristo hakuwa ametukuzwa yeye hakuwa ameondoka bado alikuwa kwa ulimwengu the bible says they have to receive it they to receive the holy spirit later up to that time the spirit had not been given since Jesus had not yet been glorified So it was a time of Jesus. It was in the dispensation of Jesus. And therefore, anabia wanafuzi, wote ambao wanakiu, na waje kwa ngu na wanya. Wote waliwa nakiu, na waje kwa ngu na wanya. Na bibiri nasema, kwa mbaada ya hiyo, semesheni ya maji ya usiku, ita mwujika kutoka kwa mioyo yao. Na mwujika nasema kwa mba kwa hii alimanisha rongu takatifu ambaye hakuwa amemua wakua. Kwa hivyo alikuwa aje kwa obada. Kwa sababu gani? Kwa sababu kristo hakuwa ametukuswa. Hakuwa amemaliza kazi. Hakuwa ametoka katika uwewe. Lakini anawambia wote waliyo na kiu na waje kwa ku na wanya. Na ninasema kwa wanja walini. Wote ambao wameingia na kiu katika wanja walini. Yesu atawamwalia kufu za roho mtakatifu. Hatuta ondoka vile tolivyo ingia. Lakini kwa sababi ya kiu tutapokea kutoka kwa Yesu ambaye anabatiza na kufu za roho mtakatifu. Na wapendo wa wiki hii, topoke uwezo wa roho mtakatifu. Wiki hii na tujazwe, maana tunaja, maana tunajiu, maana tunatazamia kristo. Tunamuangalia tukiwa na ja, tunamuangalia tukiwa na kiu. Na wiki hii ni namomba, zote tujazwe na kufu za roho mtakatifu. Walio nena wanene tena, wasio nena wanene wiki hii. Kajina la Yesu Christo Bwana wa Neema Somebody shout a big amen We need to desire the power of the Holy Spirit But without the desire You cannot receive Without that desire You cannot receive What does the Bible say in the book of Psalm 42 Verse number 1 As the deer panted For the rivers, the streams of river So my soul Panted for you, O Lord. Yani, kama chishi ya pavyo, ayala anaona kiu kwa haji ya mito ya maji. Hivyo, hivyo, hivyo moyo wangu, kuna kuwea kiu ewe kwana. Na wapenua, this is my prayer, this week. Ya kuwa ba tutakuwa na nja, tutakuwa na kiu kwa haji ya onda katifu. Na tunapo kuwa na nja, tunapo kuwa na kiu, na ewe mungu. Atakusosere 
kuendesha atatupatia roho atatumwagia roho atatujaza tutamenda kwa lugha chipia maana ni ahadi ya Bwana pokeeni nguvu za roho takatifu pokeeni uwezo wa roho takatifu nemeni kwa lugha wiki hii hata wiki zijazo i speak the holy spirit upon your life in the name of the lord that you may speak in new tongues in the name of jesus christ there is something that happened in the early church acts chapter 2 verse 1 acts chapter 2 verse number 1 tutaenda mpaka verse number 4 acts chapter 2 verse number 1 through to verse number 4 the bible says when the day of pentecost came they were all together in one place then suddenly suddenly a sound like a blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting may the lord fill this house i say may the lord fill this house and the bible says they saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them hallelujah yani yani mioto yani biale inaokaa kama timi za moto imekuja juu yao alafu biblia inasema kwamba kila mmoja they rested on each of them kwa hiyo kila mtu alitaliwa na roho takatifu and this is my prayer that all of us we are going to receive this power in the name of the lord may the holy spirit rest upon your life may the power of the holy ghost rest upon your life may this fire rest upon your life this week in the name of jesus christ and the bible says verse number four they spoke in other tongues as the spirit enabled them all of them the bible says all of them were filled all of them nobody was separated nobody was distinguished nobody who came out of that room without the holy spirit all of them were filled with the holy spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the spirit and they got the thing when the spirit enabled you to speak in a whole new tongues in the name of the lord jesus christ One of the things that happened in the early church when they were waiting for the Holy Spirit the earnestly prayed for the Holy Spirit this church earnestly prayed for the Holy Spirit waiting for the Holy Spirit but they did not just wait they waited and prayed they waited and prayed kwa hiyo waliomba hawa ni watu ambao walikuwa na shauku wakati mwingine tunatamani roho lakini hatuna shauku ya roho tunatamani aje na ikuwa ni tunawambia Mungu kwamba tuna tunataka aje lakini hatuna ile shauku hatuna ile matamanio hatuna ile njaa hatuna ile kiu ukiangalia ayala ayala akiwa na kiu ndiye anatafuta maji kwa hiyo ukiwa na kiu wewe ndio unatafuta roho unaambia Yesu wewe ndio unabatiza na kwa hiyo siku ya leo nina njaa nina kiu nina tamani nichaze leo nina tamani bwana nichaze leo i desire that you may feel me this night or this afternoon so watu hao wakawa na njaa wakawa na kiu so they earnestly prayed for the holy spirit they called upon the lord they called upon the lord mimi naona yesu alipokuwa na ashara na wanafunzi hebu tuweke acts chapter 1 verse number 8 Acts chapter 1 verse number 8 ukiangalia Acts chapter 1 verse number 8 tunaijua vizuri lakini nataka nikuonyeshe kitu hapo alafu nikuonyeshe Luke chapter 24 verse number 49 but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth verse number 9 verse number 9 after he said this He was taken up before their eyes. Abe wapia, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you and will become a witness in Jerusalem, Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Baadhi ya kusema hivyo, Yesu akachukuliwa. Kwa hivyo ameenda. Hayuko na wao. Hajaasha wamebatizwa. Lakini yeye ameenda. Actually wameshangaa. The Bible says and uh, they were taken before uh, they were 
lifted up before their eyes, before their very eyes, and a crowd hid him, hid him from their sight. Then, verse number 10, Maraika wakwana ni anawatokea hawa. They were looking intently up into the sky as he was going. Kwa hivyo, walikuwa na agalia Yesu akienda. Kwa hivyo, waliona Yesu akienda. And the Bible says, when suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them. Now, 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 what happened? Kwa 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 maraika tiyo wamekucha. Wameokea na wanafuzi. Wanawapia muna agalia Yesu. Vile vile alivyo enda. Hivyo hivyo ataweza kurejea. Vile vile ameenda. Hivyo hivyo ataweza kurejea. And the Bible says, kwa kwa amesema na wao, mutapokea kufu. Atakapo wajibia chuyenu. Rom takatifu. Na baadaye Yesu ameenda. Hawajabatizo. Kwa hivyo wanafuzi, hawajajua roho atakuja hini. Atakuja aji. Atakuja kwa jiyadani. Hawajalilewa. Lakini wameyapiwa kwamba atakuja. Na atakapo kuja, mutapokea kufu. And the Bible says, wakarudi Jerusalem. Maana Luke chapter 24, 20 verse 49. Luke chapter 24, verse number 49. Wamerudi Jerusalem, alafu, agaria pale Yesu. Yesu wamesha kufuka. Alafu, the Bible says, I'm going to send you what my father has promised. But stay in the city. Which city is this? Which city is this? Jerusalem. And the Bible says, stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. Ya mkai Jerusalem, mpaka mtakapo pokea, mtakapo vikwa na nguvu kutoka ju. Wanafuzu wamerudi Jerusalem, wamekaa Jerusalem, lakini kitu moja ambacho walizingatia, waliyomba sana wapokea nguvu za nguvu takatia. Na kwa hivyo, wale ya buwa tapokea nguvu za nguvu takatia, ni wale wa takawa kuwa na shauku. Wale ya buwa takuwa na jaa. Wale wa takawa kuya buwana, ni na shauku ni jaze. Buwana ni na kaa Jerusalem, ni na tamani ni poke, ni na kiu ya roo takatifu, ni na jaa ya kupokea. And we will remain in Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Look at Jacob. Jacob anako menyana na maraika. In the book of Genesis, ana menyana na maraika. Na ana ana menyana na ea na buwa na maraika huwa yu. Maraika na buwa. Jacob anasema I am Jacob. Na na maraika anataka Jacob aweze kuondokea maraika. Awachana na ye. And the Bible says, Jacob akamenyana na maraika. Anasema sitoki. Siyashwe. Anakiu. Anaja. Maraika anamuliza who are you? Jacob anasema I am Jacob. Maraika anamuagaya na muabia. You will no longer be Jacob. But from now, your name will be Israel. Mine blessed. Lakini Jiko, alikuwa na hile matamaniu, alikuwa na hile shauku, alikuwa na hile jaa, anasema sitoki, mpaka unibariki. Na leo ni nasema, kwa neema ya buwana, tusitoke kwa lanchawa, paka tupoke kubu za ronta katifu. Tusiachane na buwana, paka tupoke kubu za ronta katifu. Lazima tumenyane na buwana. Hallelujah. Somebody preached somewhere one day Na akasema kwa mba Kuna pressure Biku inatakaga ipewe pressure Biku inatakaga ipewe nini? Pressure Usikai tu hivyo Give the heaven pressure Na hivyo kwa kuna semanga Faith with action Faith with action Nikupatia biku pressure Onasema sitoki Panda nikoke Na ukiangalia mwisha uta 18 in a toyesha mama mjani, abaye alibatia biku pressure. She was very persistent. Anasema, give me my justice. Nipatie haki yangu. Na na yule kari, haku wa meoropa mungu. Wala haku wa shiku binana. Na mwile inasema, kwa sababu ya vile mama alivyo zikatia. Anasema huyo mama atalia yulisha. Wa shene tumpatie haki yangu. Na atapewa haki yangu. Na leo ni naoma tupatie biku pressure Tumwapie buwana We are not living this place Until you baptize us With the promise that you promised us And that is the power of the Holy Spirit Brethren, let us be persistent Let us tell God today That we 
desire the power. We desire the inferior. We desire the baptism. We are not living a land shower until we receive the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come on, receive the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Receive this power in the name of the Lord. Amen. Number two, what this church did is that they were strongly desiring to be filled. They were strongly. They were not just earnestly praying, but they were strongly desiring to be filled. Come on, they were strongly. They were strongly. They were strongly desiring to be filled. Yani walikuwa na ile 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 hoja ile ile shauku shauku kabisa ya kujazo strongly desiring wali shauku walikuwa na shauku kabisa ya kujazo na roho kwa hivyo ninaona akina Thomas Judas hakuwa wakati huu sasa Marius ndiye amepress Judas lakini naona akina Bartholomew naona akina akina Andrew naona akina John Naona akina James, naona akina Simon Peter, wote wakiambia Bwana we strongly desire to receive the power that you promised unto us. You promised us through your son Jesus Christ that you will not leave us as orphans, but you are going to release the power of the Holy Spirit who will be a mighty counselor, who will stand together with us eternally. You promised unto us, we strongly desire now to receive So they had that strong desire. And during this lunch hour, we need to come in this hour to Kiyabia Kwanda and strongly desire to receive the power. Hallelujah. On Friday, to Takuana Wakatu Wakuomba, actually on Friday, to Takuana Ampo Tai, by the grace of God, Yakuinua Mikono Bereza Kwanda, Kumwabia Kwanda, here we are. We strongly desire to receive the power of the Holy Spirit. And, and receiving the power once is not enough. Acts chapter 2, to know what you okay about it was. Acts chapter 4, to know what you okay at it. No, I know what you okay at all. When I ever give you what you okay at all, what you just want, no, what you just want to hear. Now, for you, one thing that will make you to receive the power is to have that strong desire to receive the power. Of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So this church had that strong desire. I, I, I see the 12 while you go to Acts chapter 19. Acts chapter 19. To Kesoba verse 1 through to verse number 6. Wame patana na Paul. Paul wame patana na the 12. Ame wauliza J. Muripo koka. Muribatizwa na roho. Wakasema sisi. Ata kusikia hatuja wa isikia. Na mwuru wana wabia, na che mulipokea ubatizo gana. Na wakasema, sulipokea ubatizo wa Yohana. Na di wanabia, mwuru wana wabia, kwa ba, ba, Yohana, alibatiza kwa aji ya toba. Na akawanenea. Na bibile inasema kwa ba, wakaweza kubatizo kwa jina la Yesu. That is baptism in the name of Jesus. Receiving Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, he also placed his hands on them. And they received the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Verse number six. Verse number six. Verse number six. Verse number six. When Paul preached his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came on them and they spoke in tongues and they prophesied. This is after having that strong desire. Paul and all this and the Pokeo that is on the when I say, Masisi, Hatuja, Batiso, or Batiso, who to the Pokeo, Batiso, by your hand. And our peer, Johanna, I baptize for Archie Yatoba. The Sasa, you are the tear of Ubatizo Wiki. Sasa, Pokeni Ubatizo Yes. Now, I die when I go Batizo for Yes. Be brain as ever by die. Wakaweza Kuepo Mikono na Paulo, Wakapoke Ubatizo or all. Wakanena Koruga, now Wakatapidi. See to Tangaza Wiki, Yakoba to Tanena Koruga Jibia. To Tanena Koruga Jibia. Was he Watanena, no Amano Watanena. To the Jazz, what they like to take a Jina like this. After what you want, what the Jazz will not have a proposal anymore because you only require to desire, you only require to desire strongly. And you receive that power. May you receive that power in the name of Jesus. And number three, they also patiently waited for the gift. This church, 
Acts chapter 2, verse 1 to 4. This church patiently waited for the gift. They patiently waited for the gift. The word there is to be patient. They waited for the gift patiently. Yesu, akuwabia wanafuzi, watakaa siku kwa kwa kikote ya hongo. Lakini kitu moja aluwabia, mukai Jerusalem. Lakini mutabatizo. Lakini hakuwabia, mutakasi mukumi. Hakuwabia, mutakasi mukumi. Bana, siku hizi zinapo wakiazewa na zile, abazo walikana wawo, 40. Bana, wapo wakiazea sasa zinakuwa 50. Diyo maana inaitua the Pentecost. Maana sasa imekua ni siku ya Hamsi. Lakini wakakaa Jerusalem. Hawajui atakuja siku gani. Atakuja kwa jia gani. Atakuja na mfano gani. Yesu hako ogea. Hako wabia atakuja kama jiwa. Hako wabia atakuja kama the tanks of fire. Haku wabia vile atakabi okuja, lakini Yesu wa wabia, remain in Jerusalem until you are being clothed with the power from on her. But if you don't specify the way the Holy Spirit to your mouth. So these disciples were patiently waiting for the Holy Spirit. Hawa kuwa na haraka, lakini wali kuwa na goja roho. Wa hivyo kama wali kuwa na kuna sapa, wanakuna sapa, wanaruni kwa nyuma. Kama walikuwa wanajabu likine, wanachifanya, wanarudi, wanarudi kwa yuma, wanakochea, roho mtakati. Hawajui ya takuja ni, but they waited patiently for the power. Sometimes, kili ambacho kinafanya wakato mingine, tukose kupokea, ni kwa sababu we are not patient. We are not patient. We are supposed to be persistent and also be patient. Abia kuwana, you are timing. I am persistent. I know that one day I will speak in that meeting. But I am patient. I am waiting for this power. I am waiting. Mimi siju ya takuja hini. Siju ya takuja haji. Siju ya takuja wapi. Siju ya takuja ni atakuja nikiwa wapi. Lakini kitu moja ni najua. Ni kwamba ni tabatizo na guvu za romta katika. Personally, I was baptized in the power of the Holy Spirit the first time. Katika verse 3. Verse 3 ya PCEA. Hapo diyo nilipatiziwa. That is back in 2000. After receiving Jesus, 1999. 19th of March, 1999. 2000. Nikapokea guhu za lopta katika. Katika verse 3 ya shule. Maana shule yetu ilikuwa ya PCEA. Sasa every Sunday, tukeenda katika PCA, katika the morning service. Sisi diyo tukua tunaungoza the morning service, kama shuri. Baadae saa ine, iyo ibada ingine inaigia. So kwa hivyo tuligia, asubui saa bili, na tulipokuwa tunaoma katika vestry, maana niligia katika leadership ya shuri nikiwa form 2, third term. Nikaigia katika leadership. Na wale waliokuwa hapo wakaanza kulishukuma, wakaliyabia lazima ujazwe na lomu takatifu. Lazima upoke lomu takatifu. And we need this grace. Hallelujah. We need this grace to move with the people. Tunashika mtu, tunamopia wea ujajazwa. Na tunataka tutependa wea. Tunatepea na ea mulimbali. Tunakuja tunalala na ea kanisani. Wakatu mingine tunaeba na ea faste. Wakatu mingine tunamueka mikono. Tunamopia lazima upoke lomu. Waduhu hapa, akina karobu, kama wanamivuwa ta online. Akina karobu, akina washida Daniel. I love them. These brothers, today they are men of God. Mumoja wawa hako hapa ni nurai. Ana udumu na kanisa la apostolic faith. He's a great man of God. Nilipata akiwa katika CU leadership. Waliliyabia every time, wewe nazima ujazu. Wewe nazima ujazu. Na mimi siku juwa kile walichotaka, na kile walichoona, na kile kube waliona kitu, kitakacho kuja baadai. Miaka, miaka mingi baadai, waliona. Mana kama sike kuwa ni mejazo wa narongo, I don't know what would have happened in my life. Na wakani sukuma, wakani ya bia wewe na zima ujazo. Na siku moja, tuliposhikana katika vestry, mana tulienda katika vestry. Na tukatayarisha the sermon, tukatayarisha nyimbo, 
tunatayarisha vile tutakavyoendeleza ibada then tunashikana mikono tunaomba pamoja then tunaingia katika ibada na tunaendelea na ibada tuliposhikana mikono aliyeomba akaomba kwamba hata leo nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu zinashuka katika madhaba and i started speaking in other tongues hallelujah so bana tumeshikana tu mikono roho amekuja i started speaking in other tongues brethren they left me in the first way waliniacha kwa first way nikiogea na lugha wakaendelea na ibada maana ibada zetu zilikuwa strictly to hours 8 to 10 na sasa mtu ameanza kuudhioma. Ah, lugha imekuja. Na unajua mtu akianza kuleta lugha, mtu mtu hawezi zimua, mtu tayari umekuja. Na mtu anaweza nena for hours. Watu hao walienda kwa ibada wakaliasha nikimena kwa lugha. Wakafunga mlango, nikaendelea kunena. We need the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So they strongly desire to be filled. And they also waited patiently. Wait for the power of the Holy Spirit. If you are not baptized and you are here, wait for that power. The gift will come. Amen. Another thing that they did, they never doubted the words of Jesus. They never doubted the words of Jesus. Hawakuwa na shaka na neno la Yesu. Mimi nilikuwa na agalia hii neno. Na ninaona wakati mwingine kama ni sisi. Baada hata wao walikuwa na udhaifu wa wanafunzi wa lakini udhaifu wetu na yule kiongozi tuliyekuwa naye chama tumeona akienda na ni kabisa tumeona hata mawingu imefanya nini imemfunika chama ameenda yule ambaye amekuwa kiongozi wetu tumekaa na yeye for 3 years ametuelekeza ametuonyesha mambo miujiza imetendeka tukiona ishara zimetendeka yaani ametuonyesha kuomba na kufunga baadaye ameenda tukiona wengine na udhaifu wao wageenda kwa biashara zao wagerudi kwa kazi zao sometimes what they doubt the words but these disciples never doubted the words of Jesus they strongly believed that one day Jesus will release the promise that he has promised us and that is the promise of the holy spirit they never doubted the word as you come into this lunch hour and them that are online do not doubt the words of jesus he said that he will baptize and he will baptize and if you look at john chapter 1 verse number 33 reverend is not the baptized ministers of the gospel do not baptize in the power of the holy spirit they are only given grace to lay their hands but the baptizer is jesus he is the one who baptizes in the power of the holy spirit kwa hivyo hawa hawakukua na shaka na sisi tusiwe na shaka kristo atatujaza na roho mtakatifu nasema atatujaza na roho mtakatifu utajazwa na nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu. Another thing is that uh, this church was united in spirit and they were also united in fellowship. They were united in spirit and they were also united in fellowship. Acts chapter 2 verse number 1. Acts chapter 2 verse number 1. I like that. Acts chapter 2 verse number 1. Now Peter hears that. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together. Somebody say together. Somebody say together. together. They were all together in one place. That shows us that they had one place in fellowship. Walikutana pamoja kwa ushirika. Kwa hivyo, walikuwa na ushirika mmoja. Na tuende Acts chapter 4, verse number 31. Acts chapter 4 verse number 31 They were together The place where they were was shaken And they were all filled In the power of the Holy Spirit After they prayed The place where they were Meeting Agaria, The Bible says the place where they were meeting That means they frequently met 
Haijasema the place where they met. Are you poor ones? Like in the place where they were meeting. They were meeting. So they used to meet. It was their meeting place. The place where they were meeting because they were praying for Peter. They were praying that Peter and John wanaweza ashiriwa, wanaweza tolewa kwa mikono ya masalukayo na waandishi wa barua. Lakini sasa bahari ya mambo walikuwa nakutana wakioba. The place was shaken. Baada ya Petero kuambiwa tutawafungulia leo. Mwende lakini msiwahi tena kwa jina la huyo Yesu tena. Sasa Petero wamekuja wameambia watu tumeashiriwa tume lakini wametuambia tusiwahi tena kwa jina la Yesu tena. Sasa wakalitia jina la Yesu. The Bible says wamelitia jina la Bwana. Hebu turudishe verse number 28. Verse number 28. In one accord waliitia jina la Bwana. Tele basta na tete sasa. There's a point that I'm looking. Eh. Tele basta na tete sasa. Straight up line. When they heard this, Bible says they raised their voices together in prayer to God. So they raised their voices together because they were together. They had one voice, one spirit. Yangu walikuwa na moyo moja, walikuwa na mawazo moja, walikuwa na nia moja, na wapendwa tunapokuja hapa, tukiwa washirika wa lanchawa, tukiwa na imani moja, tukiwa na mawazo moja, tukiwa na roho moja, na tukiwa na ushirika ulio mmoja, tutajazwa na roho mtakatifu. Utasikia moja pale hiyo amenena, wengine pale hiyo amenena, yaani kushikana tu mikono. Watu wanaanza kunena kwa nini? Because you have one spirit and one fellowship. And how I desire that you are going to have one fellowship and one fellowship and one spirit and that we will make us to receive the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. They were also filled, all filled. They were all filled in the power of the Holy Spirit. Look at this. Niki Manzia. They were all filled. To this Acts chapter 2 verse 1. All of them were filled. All of them were filled. Acts chapter 4 verse 31 as well. In the tradition they were all filled. Somebody say all. And we say what tell them all. They were all filled. Including yourself. And including myself. They were all filled. Have a minute idea. I'll be a man. Because all of us, we are going to receive the power of the Holy Spirit. And the Bible says, they were all together in one place. And then we go to verse number 2. Ah, Nagaria verse number 3. 20 verse 3. And verse 4. So they saw what seemed to be the tax of fire that separated and they came to rest on each of them. The Bible does not say on some of them. The Bible says on each of them, when the Bible talks about each of them, in a same way, all of them. And then, verse 4. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues and they as the Spirit. And they brought them. Can we all receive the power of the Holy Spirit? In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to the Lord. Now, no, no, nobody was distinguished. Nobody was distinguished. All of them. Nilikuwa nina agaria hii, na ninaona akina Luka. Luka was a doctor. Do you know that Luke was a doctor? He was educated and a doctor, professional, but he was filled in the power of the Holy Spirit. Iyo inamanisha haijarisi lego yako, ya masomo. Lakini roho hakikuja, utanena kwa Luka. Amina. Agaria, akina, akina Andrew, akina Peter, walikuwa fishermen. Yani Luka, ni dantari, hawa nao wa mifishawe. Actually, ata hawa jasoma. Bada uji agaria petero na Yohana. Acts chapter 4, wakati ya bao, wanashikwa. 
wanaulizwa maswali kwa jina la nani mmeinua huyu kiwete yani wanarudisha kwa ujasiri and the bible says walipoangalia vile wanaji na wakatakuwa ya kwamba ni watu wa kawaida wasiosoma walijua ya kwamba hawa lazima wao walikuwa pamoja na Yesu hao walikuwa hawajasoma lakini wamepokea uchazo wa roho mtakatifu na ninasema kwa maana cha wahii roho mtakatifu atafautishi kama umesoma kama haujasoma haleluya akikuja utanena kwa lugha na wewe na mimi nasema leo sote tujazwe na nguvu za roho mtakatifu haijarishi umesoma haujasoma lakini jazo la roho mtakatifu James na John walikuwa nasaidia baba zao kutengeneza net James na John wao walikuwa nasaidia baba zao na kuonyesha kazi ya ya ya, ya disciples zile kazi walikuwa nafanya kabla hawajaitwa sasa James na John wanasaidia baba zao kutengeneza net lakini wakati roho walikuja actually they say they say the scripture says kwamba John na James walikuwa watu ambao walikuwa wana biashara mashuhuri walikuwa wanafanya biashara kabisa lakini wakati roho walikuja katika Jerusalem wote walienda kwa lugha na leo ninasema haitaishi kama wewe mashuhuri kwa biashara roho alikuja kutanena kwa lugha maana tuna watu mashuhuri kwa biashara lakini roho anapokuja hatofautishi kama wewe ni mashuhuri kwa biashara maana James and John they were prominent in the business walisaidia baba zao kutengeneza net lakini roho alipokuja walijazwa wana biashara na wanenea leo ninaona wengi wenu ni wana biashara nina wanenea leo katika maisha wa hii roho akuje katika maisha yenu katika jina la Yesu kama alikuja kwa James and John hata nini akuje kwenu akina Nathaniel Thomas na Philip walisaidia pia katika kuvua samaki Nathaniel Philip uh, na, na, na mtu anaitwa Thomas walisaidia sana katika kuvua samaki John chapter 21 verse number 2 to verse number 8 walisaidia katika kuvua samaki lakini wakati roho alikuja alijaza wote simpokee roho mtakatifu Levi ambaye aliitwa Matthew 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 alikuwa tax correcta and they say that he was very rich Sasa easy kwa tu educated he was very rich but he was very rich kwa sababu gani ile tax walikuwa wana correct walipewa ruhusa ya kugawa kuna sehemu ya wakiitisha sitaki niseme ni yakina nani wanafanyaga hiyo Kenya lakini wanaitisha na wanapoitisha wanapewa ruhusa ya kukata percentage fulani kwa hivyo kama wameitisha 1 million pekee 500,000 ya Matthew was very rich but brethren when the holy spirit came alijaza hata madhaya na hiyo inamaanisha namna gani roho mtakatifu atistinguish between the rich and the poor when he comes he will baptize all amen haitaishi kama uko na millions na millions na millions kwa account yako wakati roho mtakatifu anashuka haadhalii millions anaadhalia moyo na anashuka anakujaza na ninaombea mamilionea wanaonisikia pokeeni roho mtakatifu millionaires wanaonisikia pokeeni roho mtakatifu amen yani hivi si millionaire Nisi milione, unajua pengine unaangalia vile uko leo, unasema mimi siwezi kuwa milionea. By faith become a millionaire today. I speak the word of you becoming millionaires in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Simon, also known as a zealot, alikuwa politician. He was a politician. Ukiangalia uh, politician, kazi yake ni kuitisha kura kabla hajakuja kwa Yesu alikuwa politician lakini Simon wakati roho alikuja alijazwa kwa hivyo haijalishi the rank ambayo uko hata katika serikali roho mtakatifu anapokuja anajaza wote na hivyo mimi naona wakati about to answer maana we are going to attract hata wale ambao wa viongozi wa serikali wasomage kwa kanisa hili waseme mimi ni mshirika wa kanisa hili we attract the MPs we 
attract the MCAs. We attract even the president. Hallelujah. See, we can attract even the president. Hey, I said, I'm going to be a member of our church of Kenya Kayon. Member. Now we are the sober. Now we are the kid who is the kid. At the end, we are the kid who is the kid. As a politician, and you are the rank here too, son. At the desire of the Holy Spirit, we will come upon him. Judas, and he was busy. We have to see your guest, son of a young man. Like in the beer, half who are indicated, Kazi and Yarivan, Kabura, and Yakuja, and Kwayes. But if you Judas had the answer, Shida, or Gatu, or Kubosu, yes, after indication, Yakazi and Yariku and Avan, I enjoy it. But if you, but if you, but if you Judas, Judas, I'm a poor two, you have a big two, a big. About that, it's what I'm going to come a treasure. A kaka, a treasure. Kizoma James, John chapter 12, verse 4 to 6. It's a koyesha here. But Romayo, uh, Pia had koyesha here, I'm going to find a katika Biblia. Now look to the same akwamba, and he was educated, and he was a doctor. And they were all filled in the power of the Holy Spirit. And I pray today, may you all receive the power of the Holy Spirit. Sasa haitanishi kazi yenye unafanya, laki yenye uko, pesa zenye uko naso, miaka yenye uko nani, lakini pokeeni kuzaro takatifu. Na uba tusimame, tuwombe katika jina la Yesu. Tukiyomba ya kwamba, tujazwe na roa takatifu. On Friday, tutakuwa na ibada, itakao kuwa ibada. Tunaita anointed service. Tunaita nini? Tunaita nini? Anointed service. Somebody asked me in this church, I don't want to mention the, the name, but somebody asked me, Reverend, kwa nini ya utuweke yaki anointed service? Nikamuliza, what do you mean by anointed service? Akaniyamia, si uweke kama siku moja, uwe unatopaka mafuta. Ah, Nikamuambia, sasa anointing service, I guardi ya kupaka mafuta. I always anoint people through the power of the Holy Spirit. And that is not me. It is God who anoints in the power of the Holy Spirit. And therefore we always have the anointing service. Kwa hivyo, kama ni wewe uniuliza hivyo, Friday itakuwa anointing service. Amen. Sasa ibada yako imefika. Ibada ya anointing imefanya nini? Kucheni mupakwe na Yesu mafuta ya roho utakatifu. Hatupaki mafuta inayo olekana, tunapaka mafuta ya roo takatifu. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bless your name for your word. Thank you because you have ministered to us in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. And how do we pray, God, that this word will do a new thing in our life in the name of Jesus. I pray that you may anoint us in the power of the Holy Spirit. May you release that power upon our life in the name of the Lord that you may speak in other tongues in Jesus' mighty and holy name. Some of us have spoken but we desire to speak again. Some of us have not spoken they desire to speak in other tongues. This is my prayer today that all of us will be filled in the power of the Holy Spirit. We desire the power of the Holy Ghost as the church desire to be filled. We also desire today We desire this power in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Baptize us. Baptize us. Baptize us, we pray. Baptize us, we pray. We desire this power again. We desire the times again. We have remained with one time from a long time. But God, we desire the renewal of times by God in the name of the Lord. Shekatayapo 
Oshete tai taraba yanda Mite niya magande ni mashanda Robo shete taya taraba yanda Rosha katai taraba yanda Meka tayako ya masike tayako Rishikai tariyama yako torima yande Lord we desire The renewal of our touch The renewal of our touch In the name of Jesus We give you praise We give you all Tudainua mikono yetu Beleza kogwana Ishara ya imani moja na ishara ya kunyenyekea mbele zako tunaomba ukutane na hoja za mioyo yetu tunatamani sana roho mtakatifu bwana ona hoja tuliyonayo ona shauku tuliyonayo ona mapenzi tuliyonayo utujaze na hata hoja zingine tulizonazo zishughulike tunapokutana siku ya kesho uwe pamoja nasi hata tunapoenda kuleta sadaka ibariki kwa jina la baba jina la bwana na jina la roho mtakatifu tunaomba na hata kupokea na kanisa tuseme amen amen, amen. tupigie bwana wetu makofi kwa jina la Yesu bwana wa mbinguni